Pickle juice really, really helps me with my gut health, with me feeling really like sick in the gym. Look at how good that looks. We got chicken breast, cheese, tomatoes, cucumber, and lime. Tina tea. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come by. But if you're not, welcome back. It's so nice out, you guys. Like, yesterday was nice out as well. It was about 89 degrees. Today, it's like 87. In my crib, it's 73. But outside, it's like 87. And I'm so excited to go out today. I have class at 3, but it's 12.36 at the moment. So I'm a bit behind because I have to catch my shuttle at 2.30. And I still have to go to the gym and take a shower. So that's why I'm not going to be cooking breakfast, which is not like me. I'm going to be cooking breakfast after I get out of the shower. I usually feel like really, really sick if I don't eat anything before the gym. So that's why I'm drinking pickle juice. Because pickle juice really, really helps me with my gut health, with me feeling really like sick in the gym. So that's why I'm drinking it. If you guys don't know, you should start drinking pickle juice. It's literally amazing. I can drink it religiously and I love pickles. So that's something I really, really like. That's the plan as of now, though. Um, I do need to hurry up because I know it's already about to be 1, so it's 12.37. I'm going to try to stay in the gym for about 30 minutes or so, not trying to be in there for too long, only because I do have a schedule and I'm already running really, really late because I woke up at 11 a.m. today. Like, I don't know what got into me, but that's what I did. So I need to hurry up. I'm already dressed for the gym. I just got to put my shoes on do my um workout and then take a shower get eat some breakfast lunch type of thing and then go to class and then come back and then you know we'll see <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just came back from the gym. It's currently like 1.45 ish, and I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm just gonna make the fastest breakfast, lunch, brunch type of thing. I'm gonna make some blueberry waffles. 
I'm just gonna make one of these and just put them in the toaster because that's gonna be really, really quick. Then I'm gonna make some eggs because I need my protein. And if I don't have protein, I will literally crash out. I'm not even joking, I will crash out. Next, I'm gonna make some breakfast potatoes. Well, I'm still contemplating whether I'm gonna make it because it does take longer than the rest of the foods and I'm kinda on a time crunch. And it's already about to be 150. Okay, I'm kind of on time crunch, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe half of it, because I do want some potatoes. Um, and then I got some pineapples. I got to eat these up because these are kind of getting old. So I got to eat them up real fast. But this is what I'm eating. from the grocery store i just picked up a few things because i saw this thing on tiktok i'm gonna show you guys in a second that i wanted to try but i realized that i don't want to go through all of the hassle of actually doing the whole thing so it's kind of like a diy type of thing yeah i went to whole foods because i need a few things to make dinner later so i just had to grab a few things i got ginger snap cookies i did not need these but i wanted them i feel like this is kind of such i feel like this is such an old person cookie but i love old people stuff so that's why I got ginger snaps. Next, I got a lime and some plantains because, not plantains, plantain, because I'm making chicken tacos. So I need a lime and I also want a plantain on the side. So that's gonna be yummy. Next, I got some pomegranate seeds because I need it for the thing I'm about to make. So you'll see in a second. Along with this Chobani s'mores. I'll show you guys that as well. Then I got this yogurt. This is the vanilla bean um, Nusa. I believe that's how you say it, Nusa. This is the vanilla bean. I was gonna get honey, but I was like, yeah, I don't know. Lastly, I just got my tortillas because like I said, I'm gonna be making chicken tacos later on. So I just need tortillas because I didn't have any. Back from class and I'm a bit hungry. Not a lot because you know, I just made um, a brunch type of thing. So. I didn't really, so I don't really need to make, you know, lunch because it's 5 p.m. <laughs> like, that wouldn't be smart if dinner's coming up, so I'm not going to do that. Um, when it comes to eating, when it comes to my eating in a day, it honestly fluctuates. Like, today is an example where it fluctuates because sometimes I might wake up really, really late. And it's like, there's no point of me even making breakfast because it's going to be lunchtime. And then later on, I'm going to have to go to class 
and then when I come back it's already gonna be 5 p.m. and that's dinner basically sometimes I may not get three meals a day in but I still feel good enough and I have enough energy to go on with my day just like today I ate a little meal and I went to class and I still feel good I don't feel hungry exactly but I still need a little bit of you know something small that's what I'm going to be making now I'm going to show you guys in a bit but that's just like an example of like I don't force myself to eat three meals a day with a snack in between it's just however I feel that day and today I wasn't that hungry so that's just you know what it is but anyways but that's besides the point i'm gonna be making these like i'm not gonna be making this exactly but i've been seeing this all over tiktok like all over tiktok when i say all over like everywhere and it looks so freaking good but i don't have the patience you know i don't have the patience to do all of that and i don't want to exactly get chocolate that's why i just got these two so for example I got the pomegranate seeds and then I got the s'mores yogurt that way I still have a little bit of chocolate I'm not gonna be making it like a cluster and then put it in the freezer I'm just gonna make it like a little yogurt bowl I don't have any more granola which is sad I should have bought I should have bought that as well but it's okay but I'm just gonna put this in a little bowl and then put the pomegranate on top and then see what that tastes like. I hope it tastes good because in my mind, I pictured it tasting good. And if it doesn't come out tasting good, then I'm going to be tight. So, yeah. Look at how good that looks. Are you like, don't play with me <laughs> for real. Tell me that does not look good. You got the pomegranate and then I mix the Chobani yogurt with the Nusa vanilla bean yogurt as well. And then I put the s'mores toppings on the side. What? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I already tried the yogurt by itself and it's hella good. I like it mixed. Now I'm gonna try it with just the yogurt and the pomegranate. Y'all, you have to try it. And if you don't like pomegranate seeds, of course you're not going to like this. But I like it, of course. Um, adding the other yogurt, the Nusa yogurt, into the Chobani yogurt definitely makes a difference. It's so much better. Guys, this is probably one of the best desserts I've ever had in my life. No lie. No lie. I just want to state that if you're on a calorie deficit, I'm not really on a calorie deficit, I would say. Like, I just try to eat better. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't count my calories. I just go with what I'm feeling depending on the day because I've realized that my days fluctuate and it's really, like, intense. So, me trying to freaking whip out a scale every single time I'm about to eat is just not really, you know, it's not accurate at all. So that's why I don't really count my calories. And also, I like to intuitively eat. If my body's telling me, okay, I want some chocolate, I will eat some chocolate. It's just in moderation, you know? So, but yeah, I would definitely rate this a 10 out of 10. Recommend.
We got chicken breast, cheese, tomatoes, cucumbers, and lime. Ten out of ten. That food was like a ten out of ten. My nails are hella chipped. Jeez. Um, I got my grandma cookies now because uh, I need something sweet every single time I eat a meal. So why not? This reminds me of Christmas time. Definitely gonna have a few more of those. But I'm gonna close out the video now because I'm going to bed. Hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys in my next video.